Formula One turned to China now for round 14 of the 2019 Formula One World Championship. There were, and as the championship reaches its climax, Perez, Leclerc and Harmson are all still in the hunt for the championship, although Harmson says his chances are slim and says although the, they have come far in their first season with the, in the, with the team, he says that they are not quite there yet and hopes to challenge for the title next season. Without them, this leaves a two-horse race between Perez and Leclerc. Perez, though, will have to suffer the fact that he, man he retired from the race while Leclerc managed to finish in second place. The Ferrari pace is showing strong recently, with a good string of podiums recently for Leclerc which means that he now, that Leclerc will have the upper hand going into this race. Leclerc, of course, will also have um, the support of Vettel, who has been a much, excuse me, Hamilton, who's been a much, who's been much closer to his teammate than Paris' supportive teammate of Rosberg has this season. So Paris has it all to do. He needs the clerk to slip up and retire, and he needs and victory surely must come the Williams driver away. He's got any hopes of his first driver's world championship. But those hopes took a dip in qualifying as Charles the Clerk took pole. Peter Harmson lines up alongside Stoffel Van Dorn starts in third place. Nika Hulkenberg, a good result for him. Both of these drivers actually starts in P4. Max Verstappen starts fifth and Daniel Ricciardo starts sixth. Good result for Ricciardo in his third last race for McLaren. Perez is only down in P7, the top seven separated by only three tenths. Nico Rosberg is nine tenths slower than Perez in the end, but he is alongside. Then comes Vettel in P9 and Hamilton in P10, unable to su help support his teammate. Outside the top 10 is Pierre Gasly. Kevin Magnussen is outside the top 10 for only the second time in recent races. Once again, not showing his qualifying form, unfortunately. Carlos Sainz is 13th. Valtteri Bottas starts down in P14, not to actually separate between these two. Antonio Giovinazzi starts 15th, only eight tenths, uh, sorry, six tenths separated Giovinazzi from Rosberg and a further eighth tenths from Verline to Rosberg in 16th. Then come at the back Raikkonen in 17th. Russell starts in down in 18th for the outgoing Force One team. And at the back it's uh, Esteban Ocon and slowest of all, to one and a half seconds slower than his teammate was Danny Kvyat. Now it's time for the race. For the race. So hello everyone, and I mean everyone, because um, obviously today is the 21st of June, um, and of course it means that uh, the the bigger YouTubers will be playing F1 2019 while I'm still uploading F1 2018 content, which means that uh, my the views on this will probably be low. Um, so yes, if you, are, if you are tuning in, welcome, thank you for tuning in. Uh, bearing with me, F1 2019 content comes from Tuesday. Um, yes, we're in China. Chat that we won it in F1 e mod, so um, we're doing well. We're on the on the front row, which means we actually have a chance of winning the race for once. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. There's also uh, looking like there's going to be rain at the back end of this race. Be interesting to take those soft tires to the uh, end of the grump, end of the end of the um, race. Sorry, to the rain period. That will be um, an interesting thought for us. Um, I did try and um, I did. I was thinking about playing about with this, trying to go onto the mediums, but the mediums were so slow. Um, they're five seconds slower, and they're not really going to um, improve. Um, much. 
but yes, um, so a long play. I actually had to play a the strategy for a long. I tried switching it out and trying going f f mediums, but even that was still s seven seconds or slower. So um, yes, um, it's unfortunate, but we're going to have to go with the uh, two-stop uh, strategy suggested by Jeff um, for today's race. Um, And yes, lower the fuel limit. Let's get ready for the five red lights. Three, four, five. Go, go, go. And it's, oh dear lord, it's a shocking start. They nearly need to prove this on F1 2019, um, which hopefully they have. Um, Ricardo making a good start there as well. Holcomb, oh no. We've lost out to Ricardo as well. That's nice down to P4. That's a horrendous start. I don't know what happened to it. Ricardo just got went, was down the inside of us and really we couldn't do much about it. Um, Ricardo now is having a look at Hulkenberg for P2. I mean, the McLaren hasn't been up this high since, well, since the Brazilian Grand Prix 2016 in this series. Um, on screen and off screen Azerbaijan so this is this is great Ricardo I think was on the podium earlier in the season actually um, as well as Ricardo and Hulkenberg are going to continue to fight I mean they might be real teammates in real life but here they are um, not uh, they are racing toe to toe and eventually Ricardo gets past Hulkenberg um, and forces the uh, German out Hulkenberg's going to have a go back around the outside but Ricardo defends to the inside, takes the position away from the German. Um, and moving to lap four, we were unable to catch Hulkenberg. Um, and so we come in for our first pit stop. Um, and we're going to try and take these uh, soft tyres to the rain period. Um, now, this is one of those circuits where they missed out a tyre compound um, in 2018 which means that um, go, go, go. you've got people moving you've got people start outside the top 10 on the soft tyres okay, and you'll try and do the one stop, one stop left. if I was outside the top 10 though i will just start on the mediums and then go on to the rain period because I'll know I'd have been comfortable on the mediums um, and, be able, and be able to uh, slow a lot of people up um, who are having to make a second stop as Rosberg who gets really close to us I don't know how Rosberg managed to get really close to us he wasn't really close I mean obviously qualifying by the way I should mention 3 tenth qualifying was so close between those 3 tenths in the top 7 I've not seen it that close for ages in it. In it. and I don't mod the um, although I mod the performance um, I haven't really made that much changes um, bearing in mind the storyline is that everybody's getting prepared. I'd be, I'd be honest, most teams in real life would be getting prepared as we're going to try and go around the Espanocon, but he's going to he is going to not give up the space. Uh, thank you very much, Espanocon, although we do get the thing. Uh, and there's yellow flags up ahead because uh, Ocon's parent team, Mercedes, has a retiree of uh, Valtteri Bottas. So... It's really not going well to end the season for Mercedes. Espan Ocon now down the inside of the Frenchman up into P9. Um, a man without a seat for 2018. Now we catch up to uh, George Russell. Hulkenberg is just ahead of us. We will be trying to get ahead of Hulkenberg while in the dry period. But if we can't in the dry, we'll get ahead of him in the rain. We're definitely going to get past Russell here because uh, Mercedes has done no upgrades. It's a bit like the uh, Mana team from 2016, where Mercedes had part failed them out. Um, but they refused to do it only for one season, and really it's just pretty much the same. Um, we scream at uh, Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg on the medium tyres. So he's going to the end of the... He he he's clearly hasn't looked at the weather forecast, because... Light rain here for 20 minutes, maybe more. Dryers are still the best tyre. It's not really that raining on screen. There's just a few doctors. Hulkenberg's going to come back at us. 
Verstappen also is on those medium tyres. Hulkenberg is actually going to get back P7. We're going to move to lap 11 now. We've got uh, somebody else for company in the form of Max Verstappen as well, who's also on the medium tyres. And Hulkenberg will want to close, make sure Verstappen doesn't go past. Kimi Raikkonen is out ahead in the Alfa Romeo car. So he's having a good race. Heavy rain is coming in 15 minutes, so we will all don't walk with the timings. We are stuck to slow down, but although it's not um, something serious yet. We catch up now to uh, lap 12, you can see there is definitely uh, some rain spots on screen now. So it is starting to rain here in China. Um, it is going to be a wet race, wet finish to the race, which should be interesting. Uh, Raikkonen, we need to get ahead of these, some of these drivers now to make the two-stop work. Um, but we'll be switching to intermediates when we come in for our second stop. Um, that's, DRS has not yet been disabled, um, of course that being the major crossover crossover point between drives and inters. But we are catching up to the other Alfa Romeo now of Antonio Giovinazzi. Um, and this is another interesting thing. Literally just before the pits, Ricardo in the Ricardo um, in the uh, McLaren car went straight on. So Giovinazzi is the first man in. Raikkonen has continued on the all everybody. It's the crossover period. Everybody's coming in. Jeff has made the right call just in time for us today, um, which is uh, excellent. Into the pits we come for our second stop, onto a set of intermediates. We're going to jump Giovinazzi as well. Um, there's a couple of false ones in there as well. There's a couple of the lesser cars have yet to make their stop. So they've got, this is a good chance for Giovinazzi to get some big points for him today. Um, Sergio Perez is not that far the road. And uh, moving to lap 15, uh, everybody has... Everybody has made their second or final stop onto a set of intermediates, although I think, I'm not sure if some people might have poor tyre wear on these intermediates and might have to make a second stop because the rain has come earlier than forecasted. But this is the order that we've got ahead of us. Charles Leclerc is leading the race from Pierre Gasly, I think Pierre Gasly, yes. Kevin Magnussen is third and Ricardo is fourth. Although I was saying that, Ricardo is now having a look down the outside of Magnussen, our teammate. So this is the highest we've seen Kevin Magnussen really. Um, he's been leading a couple of races recently, so he's, at, he's in good form. He just needs to focus on his finishing the races as he gets pushed out. And we're going to have Rich Mix on either. And we're going to put Ricardo into a Carlsberg BMW sandwich. And go down the inside now and oh get touch the curbing there almost lose it do a little bit of van dorn in uh, azerbaijan if you're watching uh, yesterday's episode ricardo is i believe going to squeeze out max and back down to p5 which is unfortunate uh, for dane but um hopefully he can carry on we can fight ricardo slow him down a bit um, and we can now catch up to pierre gasly who um you may remember back in the, uh, was it? I can't remember if it was wet or dry um, in Monaco, um, it was that long ago, but it was, I think that memory will probably still be fresh of me catching him, we are actually, we are catching him, uh, Sebastian Vettel has retired with mechanical failure, so he is out of the Grand Prix. We are actually catching Charles Leclerc, so we're the fastest man on circuit right now, although Leclerc is, I think, um, biding his time, he's saving his tyres and letting us destroy ours because we're into lap 22 now. The clerk has, uh, I think, unfortunately, K Mag has come, had to come in for a second pit on the intermediate tyres, so that is really unfortunate for K Mag. Um, so moving him up to Pierre Gasly, um, pushes Max Verstappen up to P5. Um, here, so uh, as k -Mag comes out of, into the pits, and that will promote Antonio Giovinazzi to P6. So you also uh, Perez is coming as well. So that's bad news for Perez. Williams tyre wear is not the uh, is not doing Pe William uh, 
Perez and Ifeya as we go down the inside of Pierre Gasly and move up into P2. And that is um, really um, unfortunate for the Renault Works team. Uh, to be fair though, the Renault Works team are doing well. Teammate, our teammate has come out in uh, P8 or P7 I think behind Giovinazzi. Um, he will have to see them catching him out there. Not three minutes left. And we move to the final lap of the Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc has won the race. He won't have won the World Championship yet, but he can wrap that up in the game. But for us, I think that's a good result for P2. Um, especially the fact that we were down in P4 after the start we had was pretty poor um, for us. So yes, Leclerc wins. He has... Uh, he has fastest lap, faster than a lot of people. Ourselves in P2, good result, although we were 10 seconds lower. Gasly third, Ricardo fourth, Verstappen fifth, Giovinazzi, very good result for him in sixth place. Magnussen only seventh, Hulkenberg eighth, Hamilton ninth, and Perez in tenth. Hulkenberg, Hamilton, and Perez got screwed over by the rain, making a three stop. Well, I think Perez had to do the two stops on the um, intermediates. Van Dorn was 11th, Raikkonen up to 12th, Rosberg at the points again. Um, close finish between Van Dorn, Raikkonen and Rosberg, they're all within the same second, uh, but Rosberg can, can capitalise doing the three stop. Seitz was 14th, Russell 15th, Verlein, Ocon, Kvyat, with of course the two Mercedes uh, drivers failing to finish. So, this means that Leclerc can win the Drivers' World Championship. He doesn't need a lot of points to be able to do I think he like needs... Um, so that's... Um, we, I think he needs third place if Perez wins or something like that. He doesn't, he doesn't need to win the race. He can cruise to victory. Obviously, next race is Japan. Um, but yes. Ourselves, we're going to consolidate P3 with Hamilton not doing well and Gasly closing on Hamilton in terms of the uh, constructors Ferrari have all virtually won it I mean they have to have a double DNF and Williams have to have a 1-2 which they haven't had this season we are out of the race but we're looking more looking backwards towards Renault with their recent form Red Bull consolidate fifth over Mercedes and sixth no other changes in the constructors championship So there we have it. That's going to be it for today's episode of Final Fantasy. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you need to see more episodes of Final Fantasy F1. Not that anybody's watching it because, of course, you're all too busy watching F1 2019 career mode, which I can't play until Tuesday because the game isn't even pre, isn't even on my computer yet. So yes, I'm not going to go on about that. I'm going to say a th big thank you to those who have watched, and until the next few hours, it's time. Take care, enjoy some day, and goodbye.